What's up guys? It is the Big Puma, aka Be Ready. Your wrestling god. Welcome back to our universe mode. We are on Raw is War. Now, last video, we had uh three tournament match I'm sorry, we had four tournament matches. They were Big Show and The Rock, Chris Jericho and Raven. Big Show and Chris Jericho were on top, coming out with the win in our World Heavyweight Championship match. In our television championship bracket, we had Alberto Del Rio taking on Gangrel, and X-Pac taking on Kofi Kingston, Del Rio, and X-Pac. One of those matches will be facing off each other in the second round. Now, in, on this video, we will have, in our heavyweight championship match matches, Randy Orton taking on Triple H, and Dolph Ziggler taking on The Undertaker. In our television championship matches, we have Daniel Bryan taking on Mark Henry, D'Lo Brown taking on Rey Mysterio, and for the first time in a while, we're going to have a tag team championship match because the way I've planned it out, they have, uh, they're have they all going to end up um, concluding. Titles will be decided at Breakdown, which is our pay-per-view. So, we're going to have the Dudley Boys taking on the New Age Outlaws. So... With that being said, let's get into our match card here, and we're going to have five matches, and we're just going to, remember, these titles, the, the title holders mean nothing, because they will be decided. So, we're going to change this, what kind of match is this, 101, we're going to change the participants. We're going to start off with Daniel Bryan versus Mark Henry. Now, if you're new to my universe mode, we do not play these matches. We um, we only watch these matches until the until the tournament is over. So, here is Daniel Bryan. We'll put him in a secondary tire. I'm not sure what it is. As far as Mark Henry, you can see 98 Mark Henry is inactive. We are using... World's Strongest Man, Mark Henry. Let's get it on. First, we got to do this. Um, we're going to turn entrances off. The ring out. No count because if you've been following along, my gosh. They get out of that ring and just do damage. And uh, it's a pain in the butt. So... What happens is they get outside the ring, and then they they put each other. Some one person puts someone through the, the announce table, or puts them through a barricade with an OMG moment, and it basically well, it basically sucks. It ends in a countout, and nobody likes that. We've had two matches end in countouts, and I just wasn't having it. wasn't happy how that ended. So they can still go outside the ring, but there's going to be no countouts. And uh, that means they will have to finish it inside the ring. And starting off early, Daniel Bryan is on the receiving end of a beating. Now, if you don't know how we got these tournament matches, oh my gosh, a big splash from Mark Henry. If we don't know how we got these tournament matches, I put all the names in a, uh, in a randomizer, like a generator, and it basically created these matches for me. Um, the cards that you see, or I'm sorry, the tournament brackets that you see at the beginning of this video um, on Shalonge.com basically randomized the seeds and randomized the the uh, matchups. And so that's what happens. That's how we, we didn't change anything. Um, whatever happens, happens. It was just dumb luck that um, Randy Orton and Triple H are going after each other. That's going to be a pretty good one. We'll do that one next. And then we'll do a tag team match in the middle. And then we'll do the remaining television bracket matches and the heavyweight bracket match. Mark Henry just destroying Daniel Bryan. And now he's got him in a Boston Crab right there near the ropes. He had to know that wasn't going to work. Big punch. My goodness. What's Henry got going on here? Big power slam. My gosh. Daniel Bryan 
this is your shot to get a, in the championship match. And you're going to lose it because you have to face the world's strongest man. Once again, a match ends up outside the ring. Oh, right where Henry wants him, I bet. Nope. Into the steel steps and back into the corner. What's he doing here? Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen that one. Usually they just back up and do a normal spear. He straight up picked up Daniel Bryan and just drove him hard through that barricade. Wow. My gosh, I haven't seen that before. That is awesome. But now, since there's no count outs, it's not going to matter that uh, you saw him immediately pick him up. If there was count outs, then Mark Henry would have just gotten back into the ring and Daniel Bryan would have been counted out. But nice Russian leg sweep there from Bryan. Now he's got the leg. That's how you got to do it. Take out the leg of the world's strongest man. And he can't, he can't destroy you. What are you doing? That was his comeback. But Mark Henry's not having any of it. Into the corner with a huge power bomb. So Daniel Bryan has his comeback move, but Mark Henry did not give him a chance to use it. And he's going for a pin after that big giant power bomb. And that was quick. World's strongest man gets the win over Daniel Bryan. So he is going to go on to face the winner of D'Lo Brown and Rey Mysterio. Let's see if anything happens here. Nope. Okay. Mark Henry gets the win there. So, it's not Extreme Rules anymore. It's Breakdown. We have changed it to Breakdown. Now, we're still waiting on a patch to use our custom shows, custom arenas, custom logos, all that junk without the game locking up. Um, but, we can't... Right now, it just, it just freezes the game, and it's frustrating. So... I don't know. We have to kind of use what's available to us. Which, you know, that's not bad, I guess. Uh, Randy, Randy, Randy. There he is. Randy Orton. Now, I forget which Triple H we're using. Mm, there's Triple H 99 for SmackDown. Triple H is inactive. There's one more Triple H, isn't there? I think there's... Another Triple H. Okay, what what did I do? Get that out of here. There it is. Okay, he's Raw and Raw is War. Why do I have two Triple H's? God dang it. We're going to use this Triple H, and when this is over with, I will remove the other Triple H. I only want one of each person. God dang it. And I need to save this crap. No count. And here we go. Randy Orton taking on Triple H in our World Heavyweight Championship bracket matches. Now I'm contemplating at breakdown when the championships are decided having stipulations to the matches. Um, big DDT there. Jeez. Post down in the comments what style of matches you want to see um, for those t for those championships, the heavyweight, the television title, and the tag team championship. Um, those are going to be our three mains, and we'll have some lower card matches, uh, lower card titles, I mean, later on. But as of right now, we have no stipulations, and I think that's what I want to do for those titles at breakdown so put down in the comments which matches you want to see and uh if something that you want to see is already there really that was quick he's got to come back already if you see something you if you see a match posted that you like thumbs it up and um we got a pin real quick one two oh kicked out after two Thumbs it up, and then we will 
do that match and we'll eventually down the road in the next couple videos we will run a poll he's going to pin after that spine buster he kicks out after one again and then that way we can figure out what we want boom big fast power slam by Randy Orton now he's gonna go for a pin on his own and a kick out after one there's a still a glitch with the one count and it's oh my gosh RKO out of nowhere Triple H is busted open and he picks him up he doesn't go for the pin and he's going for a big neck breaker there's still not a patch available for that one count glitch and it's frustrating one two three just like that just like that Randy Orton wins with an RKO that one was really fast actually really fast so Triple H 99 is out of our tournament we've got nothing here now I don't expect a lot of cutscenes mainly because um, we're fixing these matches ourselves so not a lot of feuds happening just yet in these in these matches because they are tournament matches next up we're gonna have our tag team match the Dudley boys taking on the new age outlaws what should I do here we're gonna do elimination tag and we'll do normal just to make it interesting so here we go, we got the road dog Jesse James, the badass Billy Gunn, taking on, nope not Bully Ray, Bubba Ray Dudley in his blue camo, Devon Dudley in his blue camo, come on, that's going to take a second because, um, because of the created characters, they'll take a minute. So turn off the entrances. I need to go in and fix this. No count. Oh, it's tornado elimination tag team. Okay, let's go. So the winner of this matchup will take on the winner of Edge and Christian versus Epico and Primo, which will happen on the next SmackDown video. Uh, we kind of put this on pause. We kind of put tag teams on pause because there's not as many tag teams. Um, there was only eight tag teams, and we have 16 of the um, regular title matches. So now we'll catch up and. Uh, Oh, I thought he was going to toss him out, but he did huge with a Samoan drop. So now that we're catching up with these tag team matches, they will conclude, just like all the rest of the titles, at breakdown. What's Road Dog going to do here? Oh, he gets reversed. And a knee to the gut. Billy Gunn gets down. Big elbow drop from Bubba Ray Dudley. Now I downloaded some guys, the Shield. Um, Bully Ray, which is the TNA version of Bubba Ray Dudley. It's a, it's very cool, very nice. If you didn't see my video of my created character CM Puma, you can check that out. Um, it is the video right before this one. He's awesome. Well, I mean, I don't know what else to say. The man is awesome. So he's going to make some appearances in our universe mode. The Shield probably will as well. Got another tag team added to the mix. And that was all... I got the shield loaded in after the tournament started, so uh, that they weren't able to participate. And Bubba Ray is just dominating Road Dog here, tossing him into the corner, bringing in Devon. Oh, here we go! Was I? You mo, you know, you remember, you remember. Yes, you do. Now, 
Road Dog trying to get out. He's going to make the tag to Billy Gunn. Coming in for the first time. Nice. Float over neck breaker there from Billy Gunn. Why Billy Gunn's not doesn't have a DX attire, I don't know. Doesn't really make any sense. Nice. Twil twirling backbreaker. I really like the addition of that move. CM Puma's got it. You know that. Elbow to the head. So, this video, Luthez Press. This video has been a uh, kind of postponed, mainly because of the holidays. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been home for Christmas holidays. If you uh, have a nice government job or you're in school. Um, but spending time with the family, uh, multiple families for that matter, my wife's families, both sides, and uh, the both sides of my family. So we've been pretty busy. Uh, spending a lot of time with the new baby, uh, who's four months old now. And just, just all in all, having a great time. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Um, I hope you have had a great New Year's Eve and New Year's celebration. Road Dog wasn't there to get the tag. So it looks like Devon's going to get superplexed. Oh, oh man, huge move there by Billy Gunn. Um, if you got anything interesting for Christmas, post down in the comments. I got uh, a couple video games, Black Ops 2. I got Hitman Absolution and Need for Speed Most Wanted. I freaking love Need for Speed. That game, is, that game is really fun. It's really fun. So if you want to see any of those games, let me know in the comments, and we'll post up some gameplay of that. Uh, I got a handful of movies. Uh, the Campaign, Men in Black 3, The Amazing Spider-Man. Um... What else? Expendables 1 and 2. Um, I think that's it. I was looking back at my shelf. I, I can't remember. I think that's all I got. Got some gift cards to uh, Year 1. If you're not familiar with what Year 1 is, it's a classic car parts website or catalog. Um... They have reproduction parts and stuff like that. And, and if you don't know, if you haven't seen the vlog that I did a while back, um, I've got a 1972 Buick Skylark. It's pretty awesome. It's beastly. Dark green. It's very nice. So I got some gift cards to year one, and uh, I'm able to get a few parts for the car. And there goes Road Dog. He almost went into the steel steps. Um, so I'm getting some car parts there for that. So all in all, I had a great, great Christmas. I assumed since we had the baby, um, Daddy wouldn't be getting any awesome gifts. And here is that spear that I was talking about through the barricade. My gosh. Through that barricade. That's the spear I'm used to seeing. Is Bubba Ray going to let Billy Gunn get eliminated? No, he's not. He's going to pick him up, and out goes Devon. Oh, hard into the corner. Is anybody going to get him? Devon is. Busted Billy Gunn open, tossing him back into the ring. Devon making his way back into the ring as well. Uh, uh, uh oh, nice block there from Billy Gunn. Into the. Opposite corner he goes. He is slowly moving. Billy Gunn is with that busted head. He's going for a second superplex. Nice move there from Billy Gunn who jumps right up. He needs to make that tag and he does. He goes over there. Road Dog cheering him on. Oh, now Devon's out. Oh, man. Bully Ray just walked away. Bubba Ray, I should say. Just straight up walked away from from Devon. Single leg crab. Now Bubba Ray's going to break it up. Wow. That's um, unexpected. He was just kind of wandered off when Devon needed the tag. Punch to the face of Devon. Road Dog now just working it. 
Just working Diva now. Is he going for the pin? He is. And he gets a rope break. Lucky because it didn't look like Bubba Ray was coming in. And now Bubba Ray's got a hold of him. Whoa, he just tossed him. What's he doing here? Nice little headbutt. Nice flying headbutt there from Devon. Oh man, cutting off circulation to the brain. Oh gosh. He is working that arm and neck. And a nice nice take a head flip from Road Dog. There we go. Devon now going for the tag and he gets it. Oh my gosh, he just pushed him straight to the mat. Working on the knee of the road dog. And that's how you do it. Big or small, you work on the legs, they can't move. They have a hard time walking. They're going to have a hard time wrestling. Tagging in Devon. They're going for it again. What the? Uh. Face to the crotch. Goes Devon. Now Bubba's stuck. There we go. Going for the pin now. One. Oh, he kicks out after one. This is going to be a long match, I got a feeling. With that one count glitch. Snap suplex from Road Dog. You don't want to tag in Billy Gunn. He's been bleeding. Whoa. Wow. That was huge. He's about to tag in Bubba Ray. Uh, punch to the stomach. He is definitely gonna have to have those ribs looked at. Now Bubba Ray from the back with a huge face slam. And a knee to the back of the head. Picking him up. What's he setting him up for? Oh, nice flapjack. Road dog busted open. Now both members of the New Age Outlaws are busted open. There's an elbow, another one, a third one. Rolling it up, and there's the fourth one there. Oh, big running senton there from Bubba Ray. Going for that pin. One, two, three. Road Dog is out, leaving Billy Gunn to fend for himself. Nice running neck breaker there. What's Devon doing? He's just running around like a fool. He's setting him up. Oh, nice German suplex going for the pin. And with that suplex, the Dudley boys win. Bubba Ray will never jump over the top rope like that. But So, the Dudley boys go on to face the winner of Epico and Primo versus Edge and Christian. We will see that one next video. Nice. Very nice. So, moving right along, we're going to do D'Lo Brown versus Rey Mysterio and then finish this video out with Dolph Ziggler taking on The Undertaker. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that, but... All right. Look at that. That's weird. But we're going to... We know that. So, normal match. D'Lo versus Ray Ray. Let's do D'Lo first. I don't know if it makes any difference, but... Uh, we're going to do a sing... You know what? We'll just do... It. Nope. We'll just do original. The singlet's purple and black. It's pretty cool. There we go. But that's his original, so Ray Ray. Green. He could be part of DX with that jump. You know, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know why. No count. Here we go. After this match, we'll be moving into the second round. This match and our uh, Dolph Ziggler and Undertaker match, we'll be moving into the second round of these uh, tournament matches. We still are in the first round of our tag matches, but one more match, and then we'll move into the semifinals. So the winner of D'Lo Brown and Rey Mysterio has to take on Mark Henry. 
I don't know if Rey Mysterio wants to win this. But it is for the television championship, so you know he's he wants to be in it. He wants it. Mysterio now with the arm of Delo taking him down. Using that speed. You gotta take the legs out of someone who's bigger than you. That's a leg DDT. And King just said DDT to his face. That's weird. So yeah, taking out the legs of D'Lo. That's what you gotta do. D'Lo now in the headlock. Mysterio is just really work. This is gonna be a boring match if all he does is work the legs of D'Lo. D'Lo with the reversal. Oh man. Elbow to the head. Headlock again. Flipped him over. Uh, drop kick to the face of Rey Mysterio. Going for the pin quickly. And he doesn't even get a one count. Mysterio kicks out. Three punches. Oh, he blocks it. Mysterio from behind. Once again. I think it's because D'Lo is so big. And it's not that D'Lo's big. It's just he's bigger. What? It's that Delo is just bigger than Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio can't do a lot of picking him up and stuff. And I don't believe I just saw Delo do that to Rey Mysterio. And now Rey Mysterio is going to do the same thing just about. With some head scissors. Man. Kick to the lower back of Delo. And now Delo dodges out of the way. Oh! Nice move by Rey. A little spinning leg drop. There you go, Ray. Work it. Kicking him. And I think that's the problem. I think it's because D'Lo's just that much bigger, just a hair bigger than Ray Mysterio. And uh, all he can do is do leg moves, apparently. Oh, man. A kick to the face. He's dragging him. He's going for the pin. One. D'Lo kicks out after one. Zelo with three quick punches from behind now. Wow. A neck breaker on the knee and then to the head. And a drop kick now to the face. Zelo in control. Now, if you remember. Wow. Oh, Rey Mysterio moves. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice DDT there from Mysterio. He's calling for it. What the heck? Setting him up. And bam! He's got him with the 619. In the center of the ring. Mysterio, is he going to go for the pin? No, he's taunting. And now D'Lo's up. That's not smart. You got going on here off the top rope. Wow. Boom, whoa. Oh my gosh. A bunch of moves in succession. Ray Ray going for the pin and D'Lo kicks out after one. How frustrating has that got to be? And a nice little spinning heel kick there from D'Lo. Goes for another one. I can't believe that after the 619 and then all of that off the top rope and everything there. Jeez. Mysterio only gets a one count on D'Lo. I can't believe it. Now D'Lo going up top. What are we doing here? Huge moonsault and for the pin. And D'Lo only gets one count. This is a... For what it is, and, and Ray not being able to do a lot of moves, this is... A good match. Now D'Lo is busted open. What's he doing here? He's outside the ring. Climbing up the top rope. The frog splash. He does his own frog splash. And Rey Mysterio picks up the win over D'Lo Brown. Now remember D'Lo Brown has that frog splash too. He does like a big crazy frog splash. So Rey Mysterio gets the win. He's going to take on Mark Henry. Uh oh. 
Shane McMahon and JBL. Ah, interesting, interesting. So, Rey Mysterio is going to be taking on Mark Henry in the second round of the television title bracket matches. And now to end this video, Dolph Ziggler versus The Undertaker. If you stuck it out this long, I appreciate it. I know it's it's been a long video, but we are going to have uh, Dolph Ziggler take on The Undertaker. And that's going to be it. And then we'll, in the next video, we'll move on to SmackDown and into our second round of our tournament matches. So, Dolphy. Over on SmackDown. I don't know what Undertaker we have. He's inactive. And that Undertaker's on SmackDown. What about this one? Okay, good. So we have the Ministry Undertaker in our uh, universe mode. No count. Wait a minute. Okay, no count. Entrance is off. And here we go. Ziggles versus the Ministry Undertaker. Now the winner of this match will go on to take to face um, Randy Orton in our second round of tournament matches. So here we go. And whoa! Ziggler went for a clothesline, but Undertaker quickly tossed him over his shoulder. That twirling backdrop there from The Undertaker. Ziggler needs to get it under control. I really would like to see Ziggler win. There we go. He didn't miss with that clothesline. Headlock now on Ziggler. Elbow to the head. And a nice... Neckbreaker, bam, from The Undertaker. Undertaker and Randy Orton wouldn't be a good, it wouldn't be a bad match either. But Ziggler and, and Randy Orton, I think, would be more technical, more you know, appealing. Uh, Undertaker being an older guy, not being able to do a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, big MMA style knee. And Ziggler now with the reversal. Wow, nice move there. Going under the clothesline and hitting the Undertaker with a German suplex. Ziggler with a headlock. Quick fireman's carry there. Oh, he just missed. He didn't miss that. Whoa. Big, big, hard German suplex. Locking up. Undertaker gains control with the head. Elbow to the friggin' dome. Jeez, Undertaker going to town with those punches and another neck breaker on Ziggler. Oh. oh my gosh, Ziggler just took that clothesline. Oh, big leg drop from the Undertaker there. Ziggler needs to mount some offense and quick. Outside the ring he goes. Picking him up by the throat now. Undertaker just waiting for I don't know what. Headbutt from the Undertaker now. I bet he's going to try to get him into that corner. Just like everyone else friggin' does. Oh, uh, look at that. I guessed it. And he's just going to spear Ziggles. Bam! Through the barricade. That barricade is destroyed now. Undertaker just hovering over the body of Dolph Ziggler. He's trying to, he's going to get him back into the ring, tripping over the ring steps in the process. I think Ziggler might be having some issues. Tossing him all the way across the arena. Oh, man. Just a huge headbutt there, and he's got Ziggler again. Ziggler needs to do something. Crazy camera angles and a power bomb on the outside of the mat. Ziggler's got to be done. Ziggler has got to be done. Undertaker slamming him over there by Jerry and a clothesline from the back. Oh my gosh.
Is he gonna get him back in the ring now? Ziggler sending Undertaker into the ring post. Oh, head first into the post, back into the ring. Ziggler really needs to get something going here. Behind goes the Undertaker. Nice reversal from Ziggler. Picking him up. Nice backbreaker. And again, he misses with that elbow drop. Choking him, choking him. Oh, nice, nice. Nice head stand there. Very nice move there from Ziggler. You got to keep the big man down. Nice reversal. Ziggler now in the arm bar on the Undertaker. Oh my gosh, huge short on clothesline. Undertaker quickly goes for the pin. Yep. He didn't even have to use a choke slam or a tombstone. And the Undertaker beats Dolph Ziggler with that short arm clothesline. He just put a beating on, on Dolph Ziggler on the outside through the thing. And nice show of class there from the Undertaker. He knows Ziggler is the future of the WWE. Ziggler is going to be a world champion. There's no doubt about that. And The Undertaker recognizes that. Very, very nice card and very nice of The Undertaker to shake the hand of Dolph Ziggler and raise it, even though Ziggler lost. Very classy. Very classy. So, as we recap here our, our card, Daniel Bryan lost to Mark Henry in the television title match. Randy Orton beat Triple H in our uh, heavyweight championship. The Dudley Boys beat the New Age Outlaws for our tag team. Rey Mysterio beats D'Lo Brown and has to face Mark Henry. And then The Undertaker, as we just saw, classy, classy as The Undertaker beats Dolph Ziggler. And now it's going to be The Undertaker and Randy Orton. So, we got no news. So with all that being said, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like if you don't mind it. It really helps me out. And come back for the next video. We'll be on SmackDown moving on to our second round. We have in our heavyweight championship title matches, Steve Austin taking on John Cena. That's right. Wade Barrett taking on The Miz. You guys wanted to see me play as The Miz. That will happen as soon as the tournament is over. Television championship bracket. Diamond Dallas Page takes on Rikishi. Billy Gunn takes on Cody Rhodes. And then Edge and Christian are taking on Epico and Primo in our tag tournament. Thanks, guys, again for watching. Come on back. Peace out.